Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, hi, how are you? Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Okay, let me see them, meeting people who are coming in. Uh, and, um, vecinos ya vamos a iniciar solo estoy dando admisión a todos ok ok, okay. la Ivana que me traiga a mí. Good night. Hello, good evening.
Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. You're welcome. Okay, everybody. How are you today? I, 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 uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is a uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm. Oh, very good. Okay, good. <laughs> Did you have any problems to access to the platform or to the video? To the conference? No. Any. no. Okay, good. Perfect. What's your name, teacher? My name is. Wait a minute. What? Where am I? Where am I? Okay, here. Dentro de la resolución, la sala declaró inconstitucional el proceso de elección de los actuales magistrados en el año 2017, argumentando que el Parlamento omitió documentar la afiliación partidaria de las abogadas Carmen Elena Riva y María de Carmen Barahona. Se escucha mucho ambiente. Sí, bueno, vamos a, eh, vamos a dar inicio, solo que sí les voy a pedir de favor que me pongan en mute todos sus, sus micrófonos para que no haya mucho sonido de ambiente y no interfiera con la clase. Cuando ya quieran preguntar o participar, eh, procuren este, que no haya mucho ruido o utilizar de este tipo de, quizás de de audífono que ayuda bastante para, para que no moleste el, el ruido ambiente. Entonces, de esa manera, pues no haya... Ahí está mi nombre, mi propia apostiva, ahí aparece. Entonces, mi nombre es Luis Avellán, ¿ok? Este, eh, no sé, ahorita quiero ver, yo creo que ya la mayoría ingresaron. Porque me decía que, ah, que hay, unas, hay, unas, hay unas personas esperando. Ok, aquí está, Max Vázquez. Okay. Veremos que, esperemos que ya no haya más. Vamos a estar pendientes. Ok. Eh, el módulo que vamos a iniciar es el... Aquí está, el eh, principiante módulo 3, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, good. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos a tratar de, de dar la clase lo más que se puede en inglés. Ustedes traten lo mismo de... de de participar en inglés, de contestar, eh, contestar, preguntar en inglés, todo lo que pueda. Si hay algo que realmente se les dificulta, pues podrán ahí decir un par de palabritas en español, pero siempre forzándose un, esfor, esforzándose un poquito por, por utilizar el, el idioma que estamos aprendiendo, okay? en este caso el inglés. All right, so, as I told you before, my name is Luis Adellán. I'm going to try to go uh, to speak slow, but if... Uh, If you have any questions, don't uh, don't worry, right? You just ask me questions uh, at any time that you need to to uh, to uh, to ask. When you have a doubt, uh, let me know, and I will be more than happy, more than glad to to help you. You know, with your doubts, okay? Uh, Whenever possible, is it good, you know, if you have your cameras on also, tener las cámaras encendidas también creo que nos ayuda para ir interactuando, conociéndonos y hacer la clase un poco más, más amigable y que nos sintamos todos más cómodos. Ok, me siguen ingresando algunos. All right, so then, uh, well, we have, uh, the classes are, what days? Do you remember? Somebody who can Hi. tell. Uh -huh. Good evening. Can I? Yes. Good evening. My name is Max Vasquez. Okay, Max. Uh -huh. The class are uh, from Monday until Tuesday. Thursday. Right. All right, right. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Four days. Okay. But so, th this week. Thank you. Hello, this, good evening. Hello, good evening. But this week, 
this week we are going to have a change only this week this week is going to be monday i mean tuesday today wednesday thursday and friday okay friday this friday we have class okay because we start today para cubrir las cuatro horas este viernes only we're gonna have classes okay no problem yeah no problem okay good okay so we have to cover four classes a week okay four classes a week all right uh, then uh, let me see what else uh, well first you know the the change then uh I guess that next week we also have classes, no vacation, right? Uh, let me see what else. Uh, be careful with the microphone, right? If you have too much, uh, too much uh, uh, noise in the environment around your house, please uh, turn off the mic, okay? Apply the microphone, turn off the mic, and then when you need to speak, then you activate the microphone again okay and let me see what else uh well ask you can interrupt me and ask me questions about the topics no problem right so the questions are and answers are free okay you don't have to pay for that so then you can ask questions uh, anytime you need okay so then if you have uh, any questions about the course or something oh the class is from eight to nine okay eight to nine p.m one hour every day um, uh, from monday through thursday okay so we're going to start uh, with the first uh part here that we have uh, that says by the end right by the end of this class you will learn the month and dates right so this is probably something that you are familiar with right you will also learn to speak about the uh, birthdays, right? Uh, talk about other specific dates, right? Not only, not only your birthday. Okay, I'm going to show you some other uh, important dates that we can talk about. Okay, let me see. Uh, this is the lesson objective for today. And here we have the video for intro uh, for the introduction of this topic. All right. Okay, here. Volume up, teacher. Okay. July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates. Okay. First. It's okay now? Second. Third. Yes. Okay. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. Okay. 
the dates. Practice the months and the dates. Okay, before we uh, continue and listen to the other part, now listen again and pay special attention to the pronunciation of the month of the year, right? Okay, listen. Months. January. Okay, so the first one is January. February. February. March. March. April. May. June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Dates. The date? First. First. Second. Second. Okay, don't forget the D at the end. Third. Third. Fourth. And then here comes like fourth, okay? I exaggerate a little bit, but it says fourth, like th, fourth. Fifth. Fifth. Sixth. Sixth. Seventh. Seventh. Eighth. Eighth, okay? So this is nine, 10, 11. So the th here is like a sound that you have to put your tongue between your teeth, right? And then you have to say, right? Sound like 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? 15. And then when you get to 20th, then you begin again. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, and then you're gonna go to 30th. 31st, 32nd, 33rd, and then you go like that, okay? You go to 40. So here we have only 31st because these are the dates that we have, maximum that we have in one month, okay? Then. 13th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the birth to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date 5th. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date, fourth. 
Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Fourth. Okay. Now, any questions about this? Here's how we are going to use the question, right? When is your birthday? Okay, then the answer is my birthday is on. Look at this preposition, it's very important, right? On April 5th. When is your birthday? Is on April 5th. Then, when is Independence Day in the United States? Independence Day is on July 4th, okay? What about El Salvador? When is Independence Day in the UA, in El Salvador? Independence Day is on September 15th. Okay, Independence Day is on September 15th, okay? So basically, you know, it's more or less a month and a half, right? Or a month and three weeks. Now, then you have a special days, plus birth to be, on, plus month, plus day. So this is the formula that you don't have to forget, right? Look, on this preposition, we're gonna use on when we have the month and the date. Because if we use only the the month, then we use in. Okay, that's why I make emphasis that we have to use on April 5th, month and day. Month and day. Okay? Independence Day is. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the date. Okay, and then you have Independence Day. So then, uh, okay, so here we have. Questions, when is your birthday? Anybody who wants to share the birthday? Uh, let's see, Santos, when is your birthday? My birthday is on January 21st. 31st, okay. Thank you, my birthday is on January 31st. How about yours, Yesenia, when is your birthday? Yes, Virginia? Virginia, are you there? No. Okay. Ulysses, when is your birthday? My bed my birthday Mira, is on April tenth. Yes? It's on April tenth. On April tenth. Okay, very good. Did you say anything, Yesenia? No, Veronica. Me escucha. Hi. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Hi. My... Yesenia? Okay. Lo siento, tenía problemas. Okay. Uh, my birthday, my birthday is on oh. July 13th. On? July 13th. July 13th. Okay, July okay. 13th. Good. Uh, Veronica, okay. when is your birthday? Okay. Good evening. My birthday is on uh, July 9th. July 9th. Okay, very good. All right, good. So this is, you know, this is when you are going to ask when is your birthday. Now here, can you see this date? Yes? Yes. All right. All right. For example, Labor Day is September 7th in the United States. Yes? Okay, uh, Columbus Day is October 12th. Veterans Day is November 11th. 
Thanksgiving is November 26. Okay, it, then you can use here the preposition on, right? Labor Day is on September 7th. Columbus Day is on October 12th. Veterans Day is on November 11th. Thanksgiving is on November 26th. Christmas is on December 25th. This is Christmas, right? What we celebrate in El Salvador is Christmas Eve. We celebrate the, the Vispera, right? The Christmas Eve. But the Christmas Christmas is on the 25th. Okay? Then we have New Year's Day is on January the 1st. March 13th, Junior Day is on January 18th. Okay. Uh, the other one is Inauguration Day is on January 20th. Washington birthday uh, for President's Day is on September, on February 15th. Okay. So these are the, some of the dates that they celebrate. This is in the United States, right? This is in the United States. For example, you know, the, the Super Bowl is usually, no, it's not usually, it's always the first Sunday of February. The first Sunday of February, then you have the Super Bowl. So then sometimes the day changes, right? But it's always February. Then you say the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is on February 7th. This is going to be in, say, next year, it's going to be in February and it's going to be on February 7th. Okay. Then you have other popular holidays, Parents' Day, Sargis Motorcycle Rally, things that probably, you know, we have never heard. Aviation Day, Kentucky Derby, Labor Day, okay, like other celebrations that we have also in the Salva. Okay, good. Questions in this moment? No? Let me see here. Okay, there we go. All right, good. So then, uh, if we have a, let's, I'm gonna do a quick exercise using your, but you can use your, your birthday, I'm going to pick. For example, Saul asked a question to Nancy, right? Nancy, when is your birthday? Okay, if you can turn on your camera and microphone, good. If not, if you can, no problem. Okay, so we'll ask a question to Nancy. So we'll are done. Hello, Saul. You can hear? Can you hear me? Yeah. No. Okay. Then. Uh, turn on your microphone, your microphone. No, okay, Max, no. oh yes, yes, okay. Uh -huh. Ask the question to Nancy, when is your birthday, Nancy? Me or Saul? Saul, Saul. Okay, thank you. Uh, my birthday is August 25. Okay, now you ask, Nancy, pregúntele a Nancy, when is your birthday? Okay. When is, Nancy, uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is December 30. Is on December? Is on December 30. 30th, 30th, okay? 30th. 30th, good. Now, Max, ask a question to Claudia, Claudia Ramos. Okay, Claudia Ramos, when is your birthday? My birthday is September 11th. 
Don't forget the preposition, right? On September 11th. On September 11th. Good. Steve Quintanilla, ask uh, Stanley Rodrigo. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello. Yes, ask Stanley. When, Stanley, hello, hello, Stanley. When is your birthday? I, my birthday is on November 30th. 30th. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Veronica, ask Eliezer. Again, excuse me? Eliezer DMZ, the Eagle. Eliezer. Yes. Yes, sir. When is your birthday? My birthday is on September 15th. 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 Excuse me, 15th. Okay, Independence Day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. They very patri <laughs> patriot men. Okay, good. All right, so then this is, for yes. example, now you can also use other. Um, a, other other dates, for example, when is Valentine's Day here in El Salvador? Quiera puede responder. Okay. When is Valentine's Day? No, I understand. Uh-huh. Yes. Please. Yes. Please. yes. Please. yes. Repeat, please. No. Okay. When please. is please. when is Valentine's Day? Ah, oh, okay. Everybody. The Valentine's Day is uh, 14. 14. Um, February 14. On February. February. On February 14. Okay. 14. <laughs> Remember, on, okay. on, on February. February. February 14. 14. Okay. Okay, yes. Remember, three words. It's on the preposition the month, and the date. date. Okay, good. When is Labor's Day? When is Labor's Day in El Salvador? Labor Day is on May, uh -huh. May, uh. Labor Day is on May 1st. Oh, May 1st. Okay, on May 1st. Good. All right. Excellent. On May 1st. Good. A, another one. When is uh, Soldier Day? When is Soldier Day? March. March? Seven. Seven. No oh, March, no March, no, no March, 7th, yes, but not March. Uh, May, uh -huh. May. It's? Oh, mm -mm. On May. On May 7th, right? It's on May 7th, right? So this, is, uh, uh -huh. this is the date for the soldier's day. When is Mother's Day? Okay. When is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on May 10th. Oh, on May 10th. May 10th. Oh, May 10th. Okay, good. Okay, I see that you have an idea. Okay, uh, I would, I'm going to show you the next uh, video, the next objective. And tomorrow we're going to have a practice in groups, right? But right now I just want to introduce the topic. And if you have questions, okay, pregunten, right? Pregunten, no problem. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna see the next one. Stay or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, this is when. Okay, now let me see Anna Esther. Can you please read this objective here? 
by the end. Uh, my beard then. Mm -hmm. My beard is an uh, uh, um, April 10. April 10, okay. Now, puede leer este objetivo acá. By the end of this class. Puede leer esta dosis? Uh, by the end by of the end this end class. class. Uh -huh. You will learn how to ask an answer, yes, and no question. You soon be going to additionally. You will practice a correct birthday, plans this conversation, illustrates how this talks is okay. useful in a really light setting. Setting. Okay, good. So you'll practice conversation about birthday plans. Okay, so we're going to have some planning, some plans for a birthday, okay, birthday party. Okay, here we go. Okay, pay attention to the conversation. Okay, explanations, take notes, escriban, tomen notas, and then you can ask. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday? It's August 9th. So, so what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invites. Finally, we add a compliment. All my friends. Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to, plus the verb, plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. 
are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose the last question on the chart. Are the waiters going to sing to you? The verb to be is are. The subject is the waiters. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb sing. Finally, we add a compliment to you. And a question mark at the end. Now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to. Think about your plans for the weekend and write them down. Do as many examples as you Okay. So this is, you know, like, like math, like mathematics, right? This is like a formula. Okay, a formula that you have to follow to make a question. Okay, to make a question, you need uh, the verb to be, can be are or is or am. Subject can be you, he, she, we, you, they. In this case is the waiter is they. Then going to, going to, then the principal verb. Okay, the principal verb is the verb that indicates the action. Okay, and then a compliment. Anything this week. For example, are you going to study this weekend? Are you going to study English this weekend? Are you going to watch a movie tonight? Are you going to have dinner after class? Are you going to eat? Are you going to have dinner after class? Okay. You see, you only change. Solo se sustituye en unas palabras, and then you have different questions. Okay, different, different questions. For example, are you going to uh, play a video game this weekend? Are you going to sing a song tonight? Are you going to cook this weekend? Are you going to make a cake this weekend? Are you going to go to the beach this weekend? Huh? Anybody, are you going to go to the beach this weekend? Yes or no? Huh? No. Any question? Oh, okay, very good. That's a good answer. No, not this time, right? Not in this moment. Okay, are you going to go to the beach this weekend? Say, no, I'm not going to go to the beach this weekend. Okay, it's dangerous this moment. Okay, so we cannot go out like this. Okay, question. ¿Alguna pregunta? Duda? En cualquier pregunta vamos a ocupar siempre el going to do. En este sentido, sí, porque estamos hablando del futuro, right? Ah, futuro, ajá. Y eso estamos hablando como aquello que decimos en español, 
Voy a... Voy a ir al cine. Voy a ir al cine. Ajá, Voy a ir a cenar. Ajá, going to. Going to. Ajá. Es el okay. famoso buir. Okay. Buir. buir en, en el buen salvadoreño. En el buen salvadoreño, right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So always going to use okay. going to. Es un plan. Going to for sí. plan. Esa vieja cae mal. Okay. Me eh, que le cae el, el micrófono, por favor, apague los micrófonos. Okay. Si tiene sonido al alrededor. Okay. Bajen el. Desconecten su micrófono. Ok, thank you. Eh, siempre que vamos a hablar de futuro, vamos a usar a going to y acá cualquier verbo así como lo, lo conocemos. I'm going to play, voy a jugar. Are you going to study, vas a estudiar. Are you going to eat, vas a comer. Are you going to drink that soda, te vas a tomar esa soda, right? Um, are you going to, to run 10 kilometers? Vas a correr. Uh -huh. I'm going to eat the uh, beach. I'm going to? I'm going to eat beach. I'm going to eat meat. I'm going, I'm going to, to beach. Go to the beach. Go to the beach. Uh -huh. I'm going to go to the beach. Go yes. to beach. Go to the beach. Let me see if we can. Let me check. Okay, here. Yes, okay. For example, you can say, I am going to go to the beach. Okay? Okay. This is a plan. It's plan. Okay, voy a ir a la playa. Okay, going to go to the beach on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. My family. With my family. Mm -hmm. You can say that. Okay. Good. What else? Another, another question? Another sentence? This is a sentence, right? This is affirmative. Question is, are you going to go to the beach? The beach on Saturday. Saturday. Oh, on Saturday. <laughs> and then here, sorry, you use the question mark. Okay. Okay, this is the question. The answer is. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Or you can use the long answer, right? Yes, I am going to go to the... Okay, another okay. question? Anybody else? Alguien más? Okay. Okay, alguien más que quiera hacer una prueba? Question, doubt? Vamos, sin pena. Go ahead, go ahead. Joe, teacher. Okay, who, who? What's your name? Are you going to swimming lessons this week? Are you? Are you going to? Okay. Are uh, you going, okay, at here, are you going to uh -huh, have swimming in Swimming okay. lessons this this week weekend weekend yes okay okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yes are you going to have uh, swimming lessons this weekend and the answer yes or no affirmative yes yes yes, yes. yeah okay negative no. It's not, no. Ya la conocen. No. I not. I okay. not. No. I'm I'm not. Not. Okay. Are you, not. Go? are you going to have swimming lessons this weekend? 
Okay, these are your plans for this week. Okay. Another question. Good, good. Yo, teacher, una consulta. Go ahead. Este, con lo que está mencionando, a, a nivel de los verbos, no, no hay ningún tipo de, de excepción de que tengamos algún verbo que cambie, como pasa en otros tiempos, uh -huh. o, o con el sujeto, por ejemplo. No hay algún tipo de, de, de condicionante al usar el going to. Ok, buena pregunta. Base form, excellent question. Base form. Go, see, study. Vale, por un precio. Ok. Eh, en este caso, esta me no cambia ningún verbo. No hay que cambiarle nada. Aquí no va a tercera persona, no va nada más que ni en pasado, ni en pretérito, nada. Ok. Are you going to go? Are you going to see? Esto se llama the base form of the verb. Esta es la forma base de todos los verbos. Okay, when you say, I'm going to, see, sí. I'm going to study, I'm going to play, I'm going to work, I'm going to explain, I'm going to listen, I'm going to sleep, okay? Esa es la parte fácil de esto, okay? Con los eh, sujetos, eh, solamente va a cambiar el verbo to be, right? Is, es para cuál? ¿Qué sujetos? She, he, she, 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 excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. Uh, are you, 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 they, you, you, they, you, 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 Ejemplo, por ejemplo, are you going to study tomorrow? Este en general. Okay. Are you going to study tomorrow? Es singular y plural. But if I say Tatiana, are you going? No es Tatiana, vas tú o va usted a estudiar. Ok, so, es que aparece dos veces you. Ok, you, we, you, and they. Ok, y él, am. Este es para? I. I. Entonces, I. En las preguntas se va a usar. Solito. Ay. Exactly. Is he, is he going, is he going to have swimming lessons? Is Tatiana going to have swimming lessons? Is Valeria going to have swimming lessons this weekend? Is, uh, is the dog, okay? Is, uh, uh -huh. is the dog going to, to have swimming sure. lessons? I don't know. Yeah. Do you have money? <laughs> Swimming lesson. Swimming lesson the weekend. Yes. Okay. The cat. Yeah, the cat too. No, that no le gusta el agua mucho. The dog, yes. Okay. So then we say, is teacher. He, yes. Mm -hmm. eh, teacher. Teacher, yes. una consulta. Go ahead. Con, la, con lo que el compañero preguntaba. Fíjese mm -hmm. que a mí también me, me, me entró la duda porque... Eh, por ejemplo, en el segundo ejemplo que usted puso ahí escrito, dice eh, swimming. Uh -huh. eh, y allí es como que le agregaron, no sé, quizá yo me estoy equivocando, ¿verdad? Pero ahí es como que le agregáramos el ING al uh -huh. verbo. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí es uh -huh. también mi... Ok. Eh, por eso es que les digo yo que pregunten porque ustedes hacen unas preguntas excelentes. Que, por ejemplo, yo no puedo dar muchos detalles a veces porque no quiero confundirlos, pero cuando vienen preguntas específicas de ese tipo, entonces es bueno explicar. El inglés, en inglés, hay ver, el verbo es swim, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Sí, es nadar. Pero aquí está como clases de natación. Aquí natación. Está, aquí aparece como natación, swimming lessons. Uh -huh. Lesiones de natación. Ah, lecciones o clases de natación. Uh -huh. Aquí aparece como uh -huh. un, o un sustantivo. Entonces puede ser a veces, por ejemplo, yo estoy en el swimming team, ¿ok? Entonces ahí es un adjetivo. ¿Ve? Swimming. Okay. El equipo de natación. ¿Ok? Entonces por eso que aparece con ING, pero no, ahí no tiene nada que ver como verbo. Ah, ok. No es, verbo. Que ahí el, es el verbo, ¿verdad? De esa oración. Perdón. Es el verbo, ¿verdad? Que Aquí el verbo es have. Acuérdense que ah. ajá, el, el verbo auxiliar, el sujeto, going to, 
Y luego, después del going to a la par, está el verbo principal, que es que nos dice que aquí ah. siempre. Eso no va a cambiar. Uh -huh. Si usted dice aquí, are you going to swimming lessons? Está incorrecto. ¿Ok? Aquí puede ir, are you going to take swimming lessons? Are you going to go to your swimming lessons? Puede cambiar la forma en cómo se dice. Vas a ir, vas a tener, vas a tomar tu lesson. But, el verbo siempre va a estar aquí. To take. Uh -huh. To take, puede ser, tomar. Uh -huh. Okay. Always. That would be all. Oh. oh. Okay. Good. Thank you for the questions. Very nice. I like that. Okay. What else? ¿Qué otra más temas? ¿Qué otra duda puede tener? Ya tenemos. Aquí tenemos. <laughs> affirmative. Okay. Aquí tenemos. Affirmative. Okay. Si queremos, we want to change it. You are going to go to the beach on Sunday. We are going to go Solo van a cambiar esto acá. You are going to go. We are going to go to the beach. They are going to go to the beach. And in the question, the same. Are you going to go? Are yes. you? Uh -huh. Are they? Is he? Are they? Are we? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay? Okay. No yeah. Yeah, tengo una, 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 una question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, podría... Uh, eh, como fabricar hay un ejemplo, no sé si podría ser posible de eh, utilizar una oración que sea to go to, to do, to do algo. Mm. O no aplica are, ahí. Depende, are you going... Para hacer, para hacer cosas. Digamos, yes, are you, going to, are you going to do your homework? homework? Maybe. Yes, your homework. That's a question. Okay. Um, on weekend, on weekend maybe. Uh -huh. Are you going to we'll do your homework tonight? Okay, this could be one. Oh, another one could be, are you going to do, are you going to do exercise? Exercise. Uh -huh. Exactly. Tomorrow, okay, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, okay, here we are using to do. Do is action, right? If you can also use make. Uh-huh. Uh, este, no, podría man podría Send what? <laughs> Mandar qué? Se fue. Voy a mandar la, las, las oraciones que está haciendo de ejemplo, creo. Eh, esta está... Bueno, quiero ver. Bueno, déjeme copiarlas acá. En el chat de WhatsApp. Ajá, y luego las voy a... Sí. Quiero ver si me deja copiarlas. No, no me deja. Tómele eh, foto. Ajá, ¿le pueden tomar un screenshot ahorita? Un screenshot, sí. Screenshot. Ok. O si no, pues yo se las la vuelvo a hacer y pongo unas ahí en el chat. No se preocupe. Ok, don't worry. Pero eh, te la voy a mandar. Be happy. Uh -huh. Yes, don't worry about it. <laughs> bueno, ahorita tengo otra clase ya. Este, vea, eh, chequeé en esta parte del going to y tomorrow vamos a tener una, una practice de, en grupos, ¿ok? Voy small a, group. En small groups para que podamos small practicar group. con las preguntas. Are you going to? Is going so, to, ok. Going to, ¿Ok? Ok. Bueno, fue un placer que... No se preocupen por hacer preguntas y tener que terminar en el chat también. ¿Sí, Ana? Teacher, ¿nos va a mandar al WhatsApp? Sí, se lo voy a mandar ahí. Yo les hago un. Teacher, yo no estoy en el grupo de WhatsApp. Este, en el correo que les han mandado, ahí se pueden unir al. al ahí va un link. Al okay. WhatsApp. Para que, ajá, para que ustedes puedan meterse ya al, al grupo. Este. Y ya puedan estar ya ahí todos, vamos a estar todos juntos ahí para cualquier consulta. Pues ahí estamos. Ok. Ok. Perfecto. Okay. Muchas gracias. Ok. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.